Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to CEO Entertainment. I'm your host Dylan Hamilton and today guys we're going to be continuing with our 82 business leaders revision videos and we're going to be talking about mergers and takeovers today guys. So hopefully you can sit back and enjoy this video as we talk through one of my favourite topics in business leaders which is merging and taking over businesses. So firstly you have to go through organic growth which is not mergers and takeovers, it's completely different because organic growth will occur whenever a business expands using its own resources in order to achieve business objectives and this is the most common form actually I would say of business growth up until you become a large corporation like a PLC and then you'll look to buy over other businesses. The benefits of actually carrying out some organic growth is that it's a cheaper strategic option to achieve growth usually. It avoids culture clashes between two business organizations because obviously if you merge or take over another business then they might have a different culture and therefore the culture between the two businesses could clash. Um, so it avoids that and then existing management team will control the pace of expansion as well. The drawbacks is that it takes a lot longer than mergers and takeovers. Uh, to achieve your key strategic objectives and there's no guarantee of actually a long-term growth strategy and, and, success of, and success of that. So a takeover then, well a takeover is whenever one business will acquire another such as Google acquiring uh, YouTube and this form of acquisition is it's a form of acquiring key fixed assets or a business takeover and they will trade as separate business entities. So for example, YouTube is a separate legal entity than Google. YouTube makes its own profit separate to Google. They'll have separate financial statements, etc. Although Google still technically bring in, if whatever YouTube makes is technically what Google makes. You know, it's still going to be, for example, Whatever YouTube makes uh, will go towards Google's net valuation and what their company is actually worth, although it won't be shown fully in their income statement and saving up another position because they're trading in separate legal entities. So they occur, a takeover will occur for various reasons, such as entering a new market to increase existing market share, provide security to your acquired business so they can operate normally. You can acquire certain assets that are not available elsewhere. So for example, when Google did YouTube, YouTube was the first sort of platform of its kind. Uh, and to make a profit on investment as well. So there are two types of takeover which is hostile and by invitation. Hostile is whenever one company attempts to acquire another business but the business that's going to be taken over, their management isn't actually wanting to be taken over. Um, that's how I would feel if, if I ran a company and tried to get taken over, I'd be like, what are you doing mate? Not a chance, like unless you offer like, an absurd amount of money, there's no way. Because you know it's your own business thing, but uh, and then you have buy invitation, which is never one company attempts to acquire another business with full cooperation of both management teams. Both teams are like, right, yes, we'll go through this. This is exactly what we want to do. A merger is the thought of joining two or more companies to form one larger organization through the combination of assets and resources. And the forms of these include horizontal, which is whenever two businesses are in the identical line. Uh, you have Backward vertical, which is when two businesses are on identical lines but a different stage of production. So basically, they're in the same same business, same market essentially, but one could be manual, one could be in the secondary form of production, one could be in the tertiary. Forward vertical is the same as backward vertical, only it'll be you'll be going forward instead of backward. So for example, if you're a tertiary business, backward vertical would be the same sort of business, only in the secondary stage. Or if you but if you're forward vertical, you could be a man, a, set, a business in the secondary stage, and you're acquiring a business in the tertiary stage. Lateral is when two businesses with related product lines come together but they don't actually compete with each other. And conglomerate is whenever unrelated product lines join together. The advantages and disadvantages of takeover and mergers is that they provide an opportunity to expand quickly and easily. It's a cheaper option than organic sometimes, because sometimes organic you have to continually over a long period of time as we know it um, you're investing a lot of profit over and over and over again. With this here, you might actually, because it's shorter, you're just getting it over and done with quite quickly. And over time, it actually might work out a cheaper option. It also enables an organization to defend their market position and take advantage of economies of scale. The drawback, however, is that the hostile reaction may give negative publicity. The culture clashes require careful management to succeed. It's expensive because customers can be charged more for products, so that's a uh, consumer point of view. It's not in the public interest and it will be deemed anti-competitive and a takeover doesn't always provide any guarantee against job losses. So stability and retrenchment. So stability is a comfortable in income operating business that they know and see no need to make a financial investment that would be required to undertake a such growth strategy. Retrenchment is a reduction in the scope of business activities leading to a reduction in the number of employees, etc. The forms of retrenchment include downsizing, which is a temporary reduction allowing a firm to pursue a growth strategy. This informs quite a lot of redundancies. 
Uh, the investment decision is a firm like to sell one or more businesses from the portfolio and invest in one of the ones in the portfolio that, have a, that has a great potential. Bankruptcy is actually a form of retrenchment, which is restructuring your debt obligations and other payments, so you're temporarily going to increase cash flow. And liquidation, which is the worst form of retrenchment, where you sell or you close your entire operation. And by selling, your, if you enter liquidation, you'll sell your company for a pound. So that's all you need to know about mergers and takeovers, guys. I'm Don Hamilton from CA Entertainment, and I will see you next time.